So when Michelle and I first talked about literacy footprints, I told her teachers need a scaffold. We need a support system. So literacy footprints isn't meant to be a scripted program. It's meant to be a supported program so teachers can learn procedures and routines. So new teachers, it's a really great benefit. But also for experienced teachers, they can take the lesson card and they can say, oh, here's a suggestion I might consider, but then I know my children don't, may not need this word study, maybe they need something else, but it's certainly a place to start to support teachers so they can make instructional decisions that are good for their children. We struggled a little bit with the idea that we don't know everybody's students, so we're plan here we are, we're planning a lesson for students we don't know. But we see it as a little, uh, it's actually turns, turns out that it's been a really good professional development. Teachers are really starting to understand how her lesson goes together by using our lessons. No, said Jack. I don't like how it smells. I don't think I like dog cookies. Literacy footprint lessons begin with early steps. Teachers use activities to assist with letter names, sounds, work on reading, and interactive writing. The power of the Literacy Footprint Lessons is they're a system to support Jan Richardson's guided reading framework. The lessons are carefully designed using an integrated framework consisting of guided reading, word study, and guided writing. Each of these three parts support and inform teaching and instructional decisions. They go hand in hand and the payoff is student growth and confidence in both reading and writing. You stopped when it didn't make sense. That was excellent work, Bexie. Thinking about your story. Oh, I'm going to ask you a question. Literacy Footprint lesson cards are accelerating teachers' expertise in Jan Richardson's guided reading framework. Each 20-minute non-scripted lesson is written as a footprint, not a blueprint, allowing teachers the flexibility to make instructional decisions and to meet the needs of their students. The lesson cards ensure fidelity and support book choice. Teachers are saving valuable planning time and are able to track progress through online monitoring tools. Many people like to be catfish. Can you read down here? Catfish stay out, out. Stay out, awake, awake at night. What a child knows in reading can help them in writing, and what a child knows in writing can help them in reading. And if a child has poor word study skills, then they're going to struggle in both reading and writing. So by integrating these in the guided reading lesson, you're going to see faster acceleration, and also you're going to see that they don't have any holes in their processing. Because sometimes you'll find, especially with second language learners, they start to move up in the reading. But if we don't teach them good writing skills, they're going to fall down in the writing. So it's very important that they integrate those skills. I love it. When you finish your first sentence, I want you to go back and make sure you underline the word picnic, because that's that key word that you want to have in your sentence. Let's see what you got there. It's meant to be a plan that goes well with the book to help you think about it and I think by using that your te we're seeing teachers are really becoming much more proficient. And then he goes into the jungle and he sees something, right? What does he see? A boy dies where he wants And to what eat. do you think now he's thinking? To eat that boy. Yeah. The boy dies where he I think every, every group is going to be different and bring different needs. But I, we are finding that um, you know, if, if you've gone to the right book from the collection and we've made good choices about what comes next, you're going to find that it's, it's, it's going to go well. The wonderful high quality stories and informational text are carefully sequenced with the appropriate amount of supports and challenges. These challenges increase in small increments from book to book within a level and also across levels. Familiar characters across the levels allow readers to be acquainted with their traits and motivations. 
They read with keen anticipation. This predictability frees up cognitive space, allowing them to delve deeper into comprehension. Readers will be absolutely fascinated by the informational text. The vibrant colors, photos, and text features bring the text to life. Readers will delight in Literacy Footprint text. Okay, so go ahead and as you read today, the strategy you're going to be working on is a summarizing. I put a card right here for you. Literacy Footprint lessons progress from the beginner steps all the way to the most fluent readers. And you're just going to write down a few key words that you think are important. Literacy Footprint's goal is simple. They want all readers, regardless of their background, to become proficient readers who can't what wait to pick up another back? book. Taking a video about it? It could be a video or a picture. Good job. Okay, keep going. We're seeing, especially for uh, newer teachers, teachers newer to guided reading, um, but even experienced teachers are coming out and saying, wow, this is so helpful. 